What is going on guys, DBG, and today we're going to be ranking every single one of these cards from back, from, f not back to four, like uh, back to front, but it's the, from worst to best. From worst to best, we're gonna be ranking all these cards from worst to best in NBA 2K24, my team. Before we do that, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, we're trying to get 20,000 subscribers by Christmas, and we're, we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well. It's gonna be about 100 a day. Hopefully we can do it. Like obviously we need big days today, we need big days in the 22nd, but you just never know, hopefully. Hopefully we are able to hit it. But anyway, the set are these guys right here. I'm not counting Giannis as part of the set, but it's gonna be these nine guys right here and Devin Booker as the 10th. So in last place is Austin Reeves. Austin Reeves is an undersized um, shooting guard who plays no defense. He's got a good, really good three ball, really good release. Like, this defense is, like, pathetic at this stage of the game. Like, it's worse defense than Pajemski. Um, good enough lateral, I guess. Good enough speed. But he's got agent threes. He's got the loser's leads badge. Um, mini magician. Not things like gold range. But honestly, his release is good, not spectacular. If you're asking me, do, would I take this guy or Emerald Brandon Pajemski, I'm taking Pajemski. If you're asking me if I take this card or Emerald Terrence Mann, I'm taking Terrence Mann. That is the level I would rate Austin Reeves at. I don't think he's a good card at all in this game. Um, I don't think he's unusable, but he's not good. Next up is a very close one between these three guys I'm going uh, through right here. So for number nine, we're going to put Julius Randle in. What Julius Randle has is a good release. His three ball rating is not the greatest. He doesn't do anything particularly well, but he doesn't do anything badly either. The only problem is, is that when we're talking about five on five modes, he's a six A power forward, which isn't a good thing. Like badges wise, he's pretty good. His release is nice. It's just, I would more try to not run a six A power forward. If he was power forward, small forward, um, we might be even looking at this guy being the best of the Amethyst, but he's just very undersized for his position. He's, if you're asking me who, which Amethyst I would rather use in TTO, it would be Julius Randle first, but we can't just judge by TTO. So um, Julius Randle is going to go in here at number nine. At number eight, we're going to go with, I'll go with Chris Middleton. Six, seven, good enough three-point shooter, decent release, defensively fine. Um, got decent enough speed, good enough lateral quickness, and he just is fine. Like, I get it, he's got half clamps. He got catch and shoot, slippery off ball, but like, it's not like he's good at anything. He's not good at anything. He's not bad at anything. He's going to be fine. If you put Chris Middleton on the floor, just know you are getting a bang average player. You're getting an average player to do average things. And that is all that Chris Middleton am. That is all that Chris Middleton will do. He's an average player who will do average player things. Like he's not good at anything. And Sure, dribble style's okay. Linear is okay, but still, he's not great. And then we're gonna go Wiggins, who's also not great, but I mean, Wiggins is just slightly better. Like that is the thing, is that Wiggins is just a slightly better version. They're both six, seven. They're both, you got a longer wingspan on Wiggins. The difference is like, Wiggins is plus 59 in total stats. Wiggins is a little bit better on defense and quite a lot faster. Like plus six speed plus eight acceleration. He's plus almost everything on defense. He's a plus 22 dunk. Well, he's gonna dunk the ball really well. The difference is, is you got a little bit of better shooter in um, Chris Middleton. But still, as far as like shooting badges go, Wiggins is okay. Wiggins is going to be the better defender, the better shooter, and like, they're neither. These are great guys. They're both fine. They're both perfectly fine. And then last up for the, this is the first time I've ever had it where the five lower tier guys are the five worst, is the Mantis Sabonis. I think Sabonis is good. Really good release, um, 83 ball. He's a bit slow. That's really it, but he's 7-1. 68 speed is passable. It's not good, it's passable. He's got passable speed, passable lateral. Good enough badges. Good passer, he's gonna rebound. Look, if we're talking about, is he a top five center? No, he's not. But we're talking about a player whose impact will be that of like an Amethyst AD maybe at the center position. Yeah, I'll give him that. Like he's a perfectly usable card. Like 
And if I was to put any of these guys on my best team, the only person that I would even consider using is Demandus Savonis. Now we're on to the five diamonds, and let me just get Drew Holiday out of the way with first. I, I like Drew Holiday. He's not that good, though. His jumper is not good. Um, his dunking is not great. His defense is immaculate. It's spectacular. He's unbelievable defender. 96 lateral. He's got, like, 91 speed, 91 speed with ball. As well as that, he's got, like, a Hall of Fame clamps glove. 94 feet right stick um ripper and fast feet he's also at 28 goals can't really shoot from deep he just has a bad release he's also a 6-5 point guard i'm telling you if drew holiday had a better release this was exactly we even said it last year with his diamond card when he came out there was a free diamond card for him last year and we genuinely were like this is um like this is genuinely one of the cards that it's like if he had a better release would be top tier like I and mean, we're talking about top tier like if he had a good if drew holiday had like a 7 out of 10 release he'd be in the conversation for best point guard in the game but it's just that release is not great he's not a good enough dunker to make up for a bad release so he's going in here at number five at number four the only player i don't think i think it's you know what i genuinely think these top four and i'm not saying this is not the order they're in Kawhi, Tatum, AD, and Booker. They're the order I saw them in. Can all be argued as the best in their position right now in my team. Because Jason Tatum, unpopular opinion. My small forward list, I'm not a LeBron fan in this game. My small forward list is Beasley 1, Tatum 2. Like, Beasley's my best small forward in the game. Tatum's my second best small forward in the game. But you could 100% argue Tatum's the best. Tatum's release is one of those ones where it doesn't speed up or slow down really with contests. He will shoot over people's hands. He's hard, he's hard to contest. Um, his defense is good. The only problem is he can't fade. That is the only problem. As somebody who like really, really relies on fading, he can't fade. But he does have like Agent 3, Slithery. Uh, he's got Gold Range, Hoff Clamps. He's got 50... What's it? 48, 53, 57 total badges. Like, Tatum's unbelievable. And the fact that I put Tatum at number four just shows how much I like some of these players. And number three, purely because, like, he is probably, it's AD, he's probably the best in his position. Like, do I prefer AD to Giannis? Maybe, <laughs> maybe. That's just the crazy thing. Do I prefer AD to Giannis? I could. And do I have him at number three? Yeah. Really good three-point shot, great rebounder. Great shot blocker, great defender. This isn't gonna give you much on offense. Um, he's really not. Like he'll hit open jump shots and he'll get boards and put back dunks, and that's about it. He's a bit limited on the offensive end. At the same time, though, obviously defense is extremely important. Um, it's just with the top two guys, and they're two of my favorite players in the game. So that's why AD is in here at number uh, at number three, purely because I love Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> One of the, the best shooting guard in the game. And look, I'm probably going to get Kobe. No, I'm probably going to get Kobe. Like, I'm going to get Kobe. There's no guarantee Kobe starts over Kawhi Leonard for me. Even though currently Terrence Mann starts for me. But that's just for the lols. <laughs> that is just for the lols. But um, 89-3 ball. Unbelievable fadeaway. You'll see it in the gameplay. The guy is just... There's another level to shooting guards that he's at. Like, a lot of people want to compare him to, like, Artest and Iguodala. There's no comparison. Like, I'm on Team Iggy. Most people are on Team Artest. Doesn't matter. That's the dumbest argument ever because the correct team is Team Kawhi. Um, 90 speed. 97 lateral quickness. Half posterizer, or catch and shoot corner specials. He doesn't have range, but he's got half anchor, challenger, clamps, glove, interceptor, off up as rice stick ripper, 94 feet. He doesn't have half fast feet. But he does have like half agent three. Um, while he doesn't have range, he does have agent three, which is an important badge to have. And is just an incredibly good shooting guard in this game. But the best point guard in the game, and maybe the most fun card to use in this game, is Devin Booker. Oh, finally, we've gotten. The annoying thing is, is that we have a couple of cards in the game that are fun to use, but we don't have any fun budget cards to use other than Pajemski. That is. The only thing is that, like, if we're looking at under 84k, the only, like, quote-unquote fun card to use is Pajemski. And I'm a little bit annoyed. But Booker, 
if you got 183k, you can have fun in this game again. Like, he he allows you to count in threes. He allows you to beat a rack cutter by just shooting threes. Um, really good steal and perimeter, or not good steal and perimeter defense, sorry. Really passable defense, but really good three. The best fadeaway in the game, a good dunk. He's got a really good handle. He's got the booker escape. He's got good lateral quickness, great speed, and he's got all the shooting badges you need on Hall of Fame. A lot of good, other good badges, like, again, comes with 53 total. A lot of decent defensive ones as well. Booker is... Like, Booker might be the best guy in the game. Just straight up. Like, we're talking about, from in my opinion, the best in their individual positions. You've got Booker at the one. You've got Kawhi at the two. At the three, you've got... Um, for me, it's Michael Beasley. I know people are going to go crazy and say it's LeBron. The 480 at the five. D-Rob. Like, that is... That probably is the best team in the game. And, like, if you're looking at that five, who's the best player in the game? Probably David Robinson. But Devin Booker is, like, completely in the... Uh, Devin Booker is just absolutely, like... He's elite. He's elite. So, yeah, that is it. Booker, number one. Got Kawhi, two, 83. That's probably a little bit maybe controversial, but I think all the other ones are probably in and around correct.